Hello, I'm Sean Bratcher, and today we're going to be discussing Revelations. First, I want to welcome you to Christians Unite. We're an organization that is here to unite all Christians who believe in Jesus Christ. This will be our first of many videos. We are sponsored by Carly Films. Thank you, and enjoy. This is our first video. It is a series on Revelation. We're going to be going through the Bible, but in a very unique way. I give fair warning to all those who hear the words of this prophecy of this book. If you add to the words of this prophecy, God will add to your life the disasters written in this book. If you subtract from the word of the book of this prophecy, God will subtract your part from the tree of life and the holy city that are written in this book. He who testifies to all these things says, says it again. I'm on my way. I will be there soon. Yes, come, Master Jesus. The grace of the Master Jesus will be all of you. Oh, yes. So what this text is saying is saying that is anyone takes parts of the Bible and adds or removes it, there will be a curse upon you. And also it's a message from God saying, I'm returning. So Jesus is going to be returning soon. Are you ready? Yes, I'm on my way. I'll be there soon. I'm bringing my payroll with me. I'll pay all people in full for their life's work. I'm A to Z, the first and the final beginning and conclusion. How blessed are those who wash their robes. The tree of life is theirs for good, and they'll walk through the gates to the city. But outside for good are those filthy curs, sorcerers, fornicators, murderers, adulterers, all who love and live lies. I, Jesus, sent my angel to testify to these things for the churches. I am the root and branch of David, the bright morning star. Come, says the Spirit and the bride. Whoever hears, echo, come. Is anyone thirsty, come. All who will, come and drink. Drink freely, freely of the water of life. So what these texts are saying is that anyone that chooses God um, will have washed robes. You'll be in eternity with Jesus. However, if you are someone that goes against God and commits vile acts, you will be separated forever from God. The angel said to me, these are dependable and accurate words. Everyone, the God and master of the spirits are the prophet sent his angels to show his servants what must take place and soon and tell them, yes, I'm on my way. Blessed be the one who keeps the words of this prophecy of this book. I, John, saw all things with my own eyes, heard them with my ears. Immediately when I heard and saw, I fell on my face to worship at the feet of the angel who laid it all before me. He objected. No, you don't. I am a servant just like you and your companions, the prophets, and all who keep the words of this book worship God. The angel continued, don't seal the words of this prophecy of this book. Don't put it away on a shelf. Time is just about up. Let evildoers do their worst and their dirty minded go all out in pollution. But let the righteous maintain a straight course and the holy continue on in holiness. So this is basically showing that the Apostle John is actually receiving this prophecy. And so what's happening is you can see that these texts are reliable because it's from a source that is reliable. So you're hearing everything from him, knowing that he personally saw and received all things. Then the angel showed me water of life river crystal bright it flowed from the throne of god and the lamb right down the middle of the street the tree of life was planted on each side of the river producing 12 kinds of fruit a ripe fruit tree each month the leaves of the trees are for healing the nations never again will anything be cursed the, th the throne of god and of the lamb is at the center his servants will offer God service, worshiping the look on his face, their foreheads mirroring God. Never again will be, there be any night. 
No one will need lamplight or sunlight. The shining of God, the master, is all the light anyone needs. And they will rule with him age after age after age. So this text is showing that during this time frame, there is no more need for any light except for God. And that the fruit is representing purity. Um, fruit is a pure source of nutrition. So you're getting everything that you need from Jesus at this point, And there's no need for any worldly things at this time. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Christians Unite. If you want information about our channel, the link will be below. If you feel like donating, there is also a link at the bottom as well. Have a blessed night.